Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jordan Aubrey here. And today we are talking travel hacking. I posted on my Instagram story a couple weeks ago showing you guys that I got a flight to Columbia for zero dollars and zero cents. I paid zero, zilch, not a damn thing for this flight to Columbia. And I had a lot of people asking me questions about how I did this, what's my secret, spill the tea. So I'm here creating this video for you guys today to share with you how I was able to get flights for free and how you can too by travel hacking. But first things first, house rules. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, click subscribe, join the click, super simple, and then we can get on with this video. Okay, so you wanna know how I got that free flight to Columbia and how I've gotten several other free flights and how you can do the same. Well, it's called travel hacking. Sounds crazy and kind of illegal, but it's completely legit and it's actually encouraged by airline companies, hotel companies, and things like that. They put these rewards programs in place for you and my benefit. Travel hacking is the art of collecting frequent flyer miles, hotel rewards, and more to get free flights, hotel stays, tours, and more. I like to say that there are two methods to travel hacking. The slow method, which is super gradual, comes with time, you have to sign up for a lot of things, and then the fast method, which you are able to do by earning credit card rewards points. First, we will talk about the slow method, which is gradually accumulating points over time. Every time you get on a plane or stay at a hotel or maybe even eat at a restaurant, you have the ability to earn free points. Free rewards points accumulate and then they turn into free flight miles or free hotel stays. And I mean, who doesn't like free? So everyone who's anyone should absolutely be using this slow method of travel hacking. It can be used in conjunction with the fast method. To get started, all you have to do is go out and sign up for every single hotel rewards program and air airline reward program as well. Now don't worry about going out and doing it all right now. Just make sure that next time you stay at a hotel or get on a plane, you are signing up for the rewards program because you are entitled to free points, which turn into free money. And I do want to point out that these programs are completely free and cost you absolutely nothing. So make sure that you are earning these points because they can add up and eventually equal free flights and free hotel stays. From my perspective, I haven't gotten anything free using this slow method yet, but I'm well on my way. I signed up for all of these rewards programs to ensure that I never miss the opportunity to gain another free flight or free hotel stay. Just a pro tip, before you book with any airline or hotel, make sure you check their website first because they may have some deal or promotion going on where you can earn additional points for your purchase. So make sure you always check out the website first before booking on a site like Expedia or Kayak or Bookings.com or things like that. That's pretty much it for the slow method of travel hacking. Make sure you're signing up for all the rewards programs that you can. Free points accumulate and turn into free money and we all like free money, free travel. I definitely recommend this method if you are anti-credit cards. However, if you are pro credit cards and you maintain them well, then this next method is the best and my favorite method for travel hacking. The fast method, earning points with credit card reward programs. This is a method that has gotten me four free flights within the past year. The first flight I got for free was last summer when I went to Peru. That flight was around $600 round trip. And then in April, I got a round trip flight for myself and my boyfriend from Indianapolis to LA for Coachella. And then most recently, my free flight that I got to go to Columbia, which I'm leaving in eight days and I'm so excited. When you sign up for credit cards, oftentimes they offer you a free kind of bonus intro rate to get you on board and to get you to spend a certain amount of money with the company. I'm gonna use the Chase Sapphire Preferred card in this example just because it's my favorite card, it's my favorite travel card, and it's the one that has gotten me these four flights for free within the past year. 
When I signed up for the card, there was a special offering going on at the time, which is actually still going on. If you spend $4,000 within your first three months, then they will give you 50,000 points for free. I do want to point out that I got this card at a time when I knew I would have to spend $4,000 because I wanted to make sure that I would be able to take advantage of that intro rate and not miss out on a massive amount of points. And I want to talk a little bit about points, but I can make a whole video about points and how they work. And maybe I will at some point. Let me know in the comments below if that's what you'd like to see from me. But in terms of this offer with Chase, those 50,000 points equate to $625 when used for travel with Chase. Chase allows your points to be worth 25% more when you use them for travel. So that's a major benefit if you are using a Chase card for travel. In cash back, those 50,000 points would equate to about $500. As you can see, it's a huge benefit to have them be worth 25% more because that $500 instantly turns into $625 when you use it to book a flight. With the Chase card, for every $1 that you spend, you get one point. Once you accumulate 100 points, that equals $1 with Chase or $1.25 when you use it with Chase Travel. Now different cards have different reward systems and they will vary from card to card, but Chase also has a benefit of if you use your card for travel or for restaurant or dining purchases, you get two points for each dollar spent. Now different cards will have different offers and different promotions. You may earn two points per dollar when you spend it on gas or groceries. It all just depends on the card that you have. And the real art of travel hacking comes into play when you are using specific cards for specific purchases. That way you're maximizing the amount of points that you're able to get. That way you're accumulating more points and getting to free flights faster. I do wanna point out that most credit cards do offer those special intro rates where you can get a certain amount of points if you spend a certain amount of money in a certain amount of time. So you wanna make sure that you are taking advantage of that opportunity because those are free points that you don't wanna miss out on. It can get you a free flight. That's how I got my first free flight to Peru by getting that six that $625 bonus points. So aside from those bonus points that I'm able to gain with the intro rates, I also use my credit card for my everyday purchases. I use my travel credit card when I'm purchasing gas, groceries, paying my light bill, my cable bill, uh, paying my rent. These are all purchases that I'm already gonna have to pay for month to month. So it's great I'm able to use the cash that I would have spent on those purchases and pay my credit cards right off. On that note, there is one thing I really, really, really wanna stress to you guys. Please, please, please make sure that you are paying off your credit cards from month to month. If you are not and if you are carrying a balance and paying interest, this travel hacking method is not working for you. It's not going to work for you. You'll actually be losing in the end. So please make sure that you're responsible and that you are paying off your credit cards from month to month. My secret is simple. Every day I use my credit card for everyday purchases and I'm able to gain points which eventually accumulate and turn into free flights. You can be an extreme travel hacker and get as many travel credit cards as you can and sign up for those bonus intro rates and get the cards and cancel them and make sure you're using certain cards for certain purchases so you can maximize your points and get as many free flights as your heart desire if you have the flexibility to travel that much. I think that's awesome. Or you can be more lackadaisical like I am and have one or two travel credit cards and use them to your benefit so that when you want to travel or when you have the ability to travel, you can get those free flights or those free hotel stays. It's really just up to you. Either way, if you use the tools that I gave you guys today, then you will be well on your way to earning your next free flight. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment down below and let me know if you want more travel videos like this. Let me know if you want a video on points and how they work and the best way to really maximize your points and how I personally maximize my points using Chase. Chase has some awesome benefits. If you have a travel credit card and additional regular credit cards with them, let me know 
in the comments below if that's anything that you like to hear or learn from me and give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of topic and you want me to talk about travel and how I'm able to travel more and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click subscribe join the click super simple thank you guys so much for watching I'll catch you in my next upload until then peace